Welcome to JCF TV, episode number five. What we're going to talk about today is a question I get asked a lot when people hear I'm a professional writer, and that is, Joe, what does it take to get published? What do I have to do to get published? Um, that's a really good question, and, and there are a lot of ways you can answer that. You can, you can answer that with, with some of the pros and cons that are in the industry. For example, uh, there's an industry joke that says that you can't get a, a publisher unless you have an agent, but you can't get the attention of agent an agent unless you've had a book published. So it's a, it's a funny little catch-22. On the other hand, some people say, oh, it's easy because all you have to do is, is write a book uh, that that has a, a, a competent uh, handle on the English language and, and should be about the same characters at the end that the, the book starts with and some editor will snag it up because it's it's the end of the month and they need to fill out their line that's that's going to be available you know 18 months from now they, they've got their their bestseller and a couple of good mid lists and they they just you know they say they're publishing six books a, a month and and they need number five and number six and and they'll take something that, that looks like it's halfway decent and just plug it in and see if anything happens to it once it gets published so you've got those two things balancing out but I want to go I want to go beyond that a little bit and I have over the years I have developed a demonstration to show just how this works and for that demonstration I need a pair of scissors uh, this is my wife's pair please don't tell her I'm using them to cut paper and I need a piece of paper obviously and I'm just gonna use this uh, page manuscript page out of one of my one of my novels that I'm working on so what we do is we say that this piece of paper is everybody in the United States um, and they all wanted to publish a book. Uh, trust me, I have been to enough book signings uh, where I've sat at a card table with, with my books piled up there and people come up to me and, and what they, oh, I've always wanted to write a book. Uh, ask any writer how many times they've heard that. Um, and actually, to be honest, not everybody in the United States wants to write a book, so we'll, we'll take some of those off right there. So, this is everybody in the United States that wants to write a book, which is obviously most of them. Now, out of this number of people, not everyone is going to even get around to starting the book. So, you discard them. Now you're left with the people that actually start writing their novel. And out of those, that many aren't going to finish writing the book. Uh, they're going to find out they hate the writing process. They're going to find out... They don't like being alone in a room with a, with a, facing a keyboard and a blank screen. Um, they're going to find out that uh, there are much more fun things to do on a Thursday night when all their friends are, are going out to eat or to the movies or something, and they're home, I'm going to work on my novel, or for whatever reason, they never finish the book. So, these people have finished a book. Hooray for them. And out of those, that many are not going to... Do anything with it once once they're uh, once they're done. They may have a, a fear of rejection. Uh, they may feel fulfilled once they've turned a ream of paper into a bunch of a pile of pages with type on it. Um, so it, it goes in the bottom of their metaphorical closet underneath the bowling shoes. So these people start sending their books out, and this many have to deal with something, and that is called the first rejection slip. Uh, that's a biggie. A lot of people get the first rejection slip and think that they're not meant to be a writer or for whatever reason. Uh, most pros will tell you <laughs> rejection slips are a part of the process and uh, a lot of us have envelopes full of them or cigar boxes full of them or, or what have you. Uh, when we're all starting out, I think we all compulsively collect rejection slips as some kind of sick thing. I don't know. So. First rejection, second rejection, third rejection, fourth rejection. Yes, it happens. I think uh, Dr. Seuss's book was rejected something like, I don't know, 27, 37 times, something like that, according to legend. So you just keep having that, and you just keep going through the rejection process until finally this is it. This is what you have, this itty-bitty little piece of paper. You know what this is, my friends? This is published writers. So all you have to do in order to get published is have dogged persistence. 
Now it also helps if you, number one, follow the rules and, and don't think that your book is so unique and amazing that you can break all the rules that the publishing industry has established over the last you know, 150 years or so. Uh, those rules are there for a purpose. Also, um, you, you have to come up with, with uh, something that's, that's decent and maybe you will fill one of those uh, filler book things, but it may rock it up. One, and keep in mind, there's a difference between getting published and having a bestseller. I've been published, I've had uh, eight published novels, seven with my own name on them, and I'm not in that uh, Stephen King, Tom Clancy, Daniel Steele stratosphere. So, this is how you get published. Dogged persistence. Think about that and plant your posterior in a chair and start working on your novel. I'm Joe Clifford Faust. This has been JCF TV. Thanks for watching.